Fiona. Please join us for a royal ball in honor of your marriage. We can't wait to meet your uh, Prince Charming. Love, Mom and Dad. Royal ball? We're not going. What? Everyone who's anyone has turned out to honor Princess Fiona and Shrek, and oh my, the outfits look gorgeous. And look, here comes Sleeping Beauty. Oh! I hate these ball shows. Flip over to Wheel of Torture. I'm not flipping anywhere. Ah, oh, who's this? It's the one, the only. <laughs> Why don't you guys go ahead? I'll park the car. I told you coming here was a bad idea. They're my parents. Hello, they locked you in a tower. Wasn't she supposed to kiss Prince Charming and break the spell? I'd like to know how you could get any worse. Hello, Harold. Ah! We need to talk. Actually, fairy godmother. Uh, you remember my son, Prince Charming. Fiona and Charming will be together. <laughs> Excuse me, I need to have an ogre taken care of. There's only one fella can handle a job like that. <laughs> Pray for mercy from... Puss! A bullet. Look out, Shrek! He got a piece! Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 that is nasty! No, oh, Shrek, don't worry. Things just seem bad because it's dark and rainy and Fiona's father hired a sleazy hitman to whack you. DreamWorks Pictures presents Mike Myers. Oh, let's keep him. Say what? Come on, donkey. Look at him in his wee little boots. Oh. Eddie Murphy. I'm melting! I'm melting! Cameron Diaz. Shrek? And Antonio Banderas. For you, baby, I could be. Shrek 2. Happily Ever After Potion. Give me that bottle. <laughs> donkey, you're a stallion, baby! Look at me, Shrek! I'm tightening, I'm tightening, I'm tightening, I'm tightening in place! Yeah! What? Alan Tracy is just your average teenager. Only his home is a closely guarded secret. His family... Dad. Is shrouded in mystery. But when lives need saving. Got a forest fire in Vladivostok. Typhoon heading for Singapore. Their elite team is the force the world counts on. It's a Thunderbird! Yeah! It's a Thunderbird! Yeah! They are the world's ultimate rescue organization. Reverse main thrusters on my mark. Saving lives is a dangerous business, but it's what we do. Run it out, boys! But in a family of heroes... I wish that was me. Alan Tracy was always left behind. Don't you have homework to do or something? Until... Fire. Mayday! Mayday! He was the last one left. Who will rescue the rescuers? I say we have to do something. It's gonna be dangerous. We're the Thunderbirds. Our duty is to save those people. The situation's hopeless. There's still time. We got people on the ground working for us. Alan, this is a kid. He's a Tracy. Get ready. Kill them all. A new generation is coming to the rescue. Hang on! This summer, Thunderbirds are go. Time to thunder eyes. Get a vigil! Get a vigil! As long as anyone could remember, Lenny was a different kind of shark. I don't know how else to say this to you, Lenny. You see something, you eat it, period. That's what sharks do. You gotta understand, when you look weak, it makes me look weak. I know. Right here in front of me now, eat this. <gasps> oh, jeez, Hop. Here's the thing. I'm a, I'm a vegetarian. You're a good person. 
Oh, no. As long as anyone could remember, Go! Oscar was always in trouble. It's a sure thing. He trips underwater. Who trips underwater? And by the way, on what? That's it. <laughs> All right. I want you to find the deepest, darkest hole in the ocean and put him in it. Ah! No, no. Then, ah! the little fish told a great white lie. Oscar, did you kill him? Yeah, yeah, exa exactly how it looked. That's how it is. Remember this name. Oscar the Shark Slayer! You lied! Everybody thinks you slayed the shark! Coming soon. You need to slay a shark, and I need to disappear. Here's what we're gonna do. Da -da -da -da! Oh, yeah! From the studio that brought you Shrek. Yo, Angie needs to get her freak on. Come on, Angie. Dance with me, mama. You might not ever Look at that. <laughs> Keep up with me, don't let me lose you. Yeah! What'd he do? What'd he do? I can't see it! Featuring Oscar. Sharks are coming to get me! Angie. Sometimes I want to take your big dumb, dummy head and just... Lola. Just show those sharks who's boss. Lenny. Here I come. Ta-da! Don Lino. I tell you what's what. And what? What? What, what? What, what, nothing. You said what first. I didn't say what first. And Sykes. You said and then what, and I said what. No, I said what, what? You said what first. Shark Tale. Now snap your fin right on it. Snap it. You, you're not snapping it. Oscar. Uh, oh, hey, don't sweat it. A lot of white fish can't do it. Billions of stories of mischief and fun. But to keep things simple, let's start with just one. About a mom and two kids and a house and a hat. 
that, oddly enough, was worn by a cat. But soon enough, we'll get to all that. In the valley that stretches from this hill to that hill, a city is nestled. That city is Anvil. Any more tutti fruity? I'll check. It's a town that's not huge, but quite big enough for buyers and sellers to sell and buy stuff. From shoes and shirts and elongated bladders to sailboats and gibble grated berry juice bladders. So our story begins at the corner of Maine and Montreal in the spotless real estate office run by Hank Humberflug. Humberflug Real Estate, how can we make your dreams come true? Absolutely. What do you mean you're leaving? You're a babysitter. Babysitters don't leave, they sit. Baby leavers leave. Well, I need to come home right away. All right, thank you, Amy. Attention, everyone! It's 9.02! Staff meeting! Staff meeting! First, I'd like to welcome aboard our newest member of the Humberflug family, Jim McFlinnigan! Mr. Humberflug, I wanted to thank you. Fired. I beg your pardon? Fired. But I... Fired! <laughs> As you know, tonight is our bi-monthly meet and greet party. Tonight's host is Joan Walden. This is where people can meet our real estate agents in an informal yet hygienic setting. Mr. Humberflub, I have to get home to my kids. Ah, yes. Your children. Joan, let me make this perfectly clear. If your house is as messy as last time, you're fired! That's pretty clear, Mr. Humberflub. Don't worry, I promise. My kids will be on their best behavior. Great. Humberflug Real Estate, how can we make your dreams come true? Please hold. If you leave Humberflugs and turn left onto Main, three miles down you'll find Lip Lapper Lane. A pleasant enough street in a pleasant enough way where a neighbor greeted neighbor with a neighborly, hey. hey. Here the hedges were hedged, the weeds were all weeded, and lawns were mowed daily, twice daily if needed. And at the end of this street, in a house like any other, something magical would happen to a sister and her brother. 